Hello friends, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise biology topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. This video summarizes topic 6, plant nutrition. While animals rely on other plants and animals for food, green plants make their own food. They make carbohydrates from the raw materials carbon dioxide and water using energy from sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is the process by which plants synthesize carbohydrates from raw materials using energy from light. The word equation for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide and water giving glucose and oxygen in the presence of light and chlorophyll. The balanced chemical equation for photosynthesis is 6 CO2 and 6 H2O giving C6H12O6 plus 6O2. So as you can see, Oxygen is also made in this process and released as a waste product. For photosynthesis to take place, light energy is needed and chlorophyll helps to trap or absorb this light energy from the sun. Chlorophyll is a green pigment that is found in chloroplasts, which is present in a plant cell. Chlorophyll transfers energy from light into energy in chemicals for the synthesis of carbohydrates. So absorbed light energy from the sun is used to convert carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil into a simple carbohydrate or sugar called glucose. Oxygen is released as a byproduct. So basically water is absorbed from the soil by the roots and carbon dioxide is absorbed from the air through the stomata and in the leaf cells the carbon dioxide and water are combined to make sugar. The energy for this reaction comes from sunlight that has been absorbed by the green pigment chlorophyll. The oxygen escapes from the leaf. Let's now take a look at how the carbohydrates made in photosynthesis are used and stored. Glucose is the sugar made in photosynthesis. However, once it's made, it is too soluble to be transported around the plant on its own. Therefore, it has to be converted to more complex carbohydrates. The glucose may be used in respiration to release energy that's needed for other chemical reactions such as the building up of proteins. Glucose that is not needed for respiration is turned into starch and stored. The glucose may be converted to a complex carbohydrate called cellulose which may be used to build cell walls. The glucose may be converted into sucrose so that it can be transported around the plant in the phloem. The sucrose will be distributed to all parts of the plant that do not photosynthesize. The glucose may also be used as nectar to attract insects for pollination. This diagram illustrates how the carbohydrates made in photosynthesis is used and stored. Glucose made in photosynthesis may be used in respiration to provide energy. It may be converted to starch as an energy store. It may be converted to cellulose to build cell walls. It may even be converted to sucrose for transport in the phloem. Or it may be used as nectar to attract insects for pollination. Although plants make their own carbohydrates, they also need certain minerals to photosynthesize and grow. Plants have two important mineral requirements. 
nitrate ions for making amino acids and magnesium ions for making chlorophyll. Firstly, nitrate ions are important for plants as they are used in building amino acids, which eventually become proteins. A nitrate ion deficiency would slow down the growth of the plant, that is the stem would weaken. The leaves will turn yellow. Magnesium ions are required to make chlorophyll. If a plant has a magnesium ion deficiency, then they will lack chlorophyll. Leaves will turn yellow from the bottom of the stem upwards and plant growth will slow down due to reduced photosynthesis. The following factors are important for photosynthesis to take place. Chlorophyll is required because it helps absorb the light required. Light is important because it provides the energy to drive the reaction. Carbon dioxide is important because it is converted into the sugars such as the glucose we need. So that concludes part 1 of topic 6, plant nutrition. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more biology revision videos. Bye!